everyone. I'm Melissa Cutright and I work for eBay and I head up our global payments organization. In the role, I lead um, a little over a thousand people that are ensuring that our millions of buyers can make the purchases they want every day and then ensuring that our sellers get paid for all the items that, that they sell. Um, I also lead a team of leaders that make sure that our marketplace is safe and their information is protected when they transact on our system. So as I think about my career and what got me here today, um, authenticity is, is what I always sort of go back to. Um, and what do I mean when I say authenticity? It's really just be yourself know what matters to you um, and just be true to that. And I know, you know, for many of you, uh, you're still discovering what that might be. So I always suggest, you know, teachers you might admire, like, why do you admire them? How do they show up or talk to you every day or a parent or even a friend um, and constantly be observing and, and see things that you think work and, and um, really connect with you. Uh, and also acknowledge things that don't feel good when you interact with others or, or how they speak to you. Um, and that'll help you sort of identify what is most important to you. What do you really value in the way you interact with others um, and, and bring that with you each and every day. And, and it's a learning experience. Um, I've continued to learn what is most important to me and what brings out my best and allows me to be my most curious, my most creative in, in problem solving. And I think that once you stick to that, it's really important. Um, and then you bring along with that being persistent and curious. Um, I've worked for a lot of companies where we're starting from the ground up and we don't know the answers to a lot of questions. Um, so it's, it's a lot of asking, um, what what if and why not i think why not is actually one of the most important questions you can always ask it gets people to think a little bit differently and and open up to new ideas um and then i think just having you know different people bring new ideas and continue to ideate um gives a, a lot better ideas at the end of the day So I think a good leader really values their people. Um, you can have a great idea and there've been many, many great ideas um, that different companies have tried to pursue and, and they don't succeed. And then, you know, a few years later, the same idea will seemingly be successful. Um, and the difference sometimes is just timing, but more often than not, it's the people. Um, so the people make the idea and you know, really understanding how to build a diverse team is really, really important. I feel so fortunate to have worked for companies like eBay that really invest in their people um, that allow me not to just grow personally, but also professionally, and then also be able to give that gift to others around me and allow them to develop as well. Um, I also think it's really important to build a diverse team. Um, every human um, is, is sort of unique in a, in a really amazing, beautiful way. And when you bring a wide variety of people together, I think you get your best ideas. You combine that with what I spoke about a few moments ago about curiosity and persistence and authenticity. And I think that um, you, you get amazing breakthroughs. Um, the impossible becomes possible. Um, and, and I think that um, that is what's key to uh, building great teams um, and really creating successful leaders. It's always actually one of my favorite questions. It's a, a question I ask uh, almost everyone when I, when I interview them. So it's fun to sort of be asked my, myself. So um, at the end of the day, I'm a builder and I'm a learner. Um, so when I'm building, um, even if it's something I've built before, I'm, I'm always thinking about what's new or different and learning um, about the environment or the situation that I'm building in. Um, and, and just really plain and simple, I get things done. Um, I really value seeing um, the fruits of my efforts, seeing 
um, it come to life and how it impacts our, our customers. Um, and I'm always thinking about how could have we done it better, even if we uh, did it really well and it was really successful, well, what could have been even better? Um, and you know, oftentimes people think about um, when they fail or do something wrong, what they could have done differently. I'm also a big believer of even when you do well, why did you do well? Can you identify and understand so you can do it again? Because <laughs> if it worked really well once, it's probably gonna work really well um, again. Asking questions, why, why not, what if, how might we? You know, a lot of times people will tell you all the reasons something can't happen. So I love to turn that around and say, well, what would have to be true? Or how could it, happen um, versus always thinking of, of the negative or, or the downside. Um, so it's just really important to stay open, stay curious, um, and uh, you will have uh, really good outcomes and continue to just get better with each and every you know, thing that you do. First, I just want to say thank you for letting me share uh, a few thoughts with you. It's, it's been really fun. Um, and I wish each and every one of you uh, great luck and to you know, discover what it is that makes each and every one of you unique. Um, everyone has their unique gift. Uh, and I would say, stay curious.